I'm Captain Jacob D. Johnson, Jr. Now I'm a uh, Linden Air Cargo uh, Hercules captain. I fly a C-130. I guess I wanted to go to flight school for since I was small. Because uh, this is the old airport right across the... I would, I would sit over here and watch planes take off and land right here. Yeah, I just saw them and that's what I just wanted to do, I guess. Well, in 1985, one month after I graduated from high school, my dad asked me if I wanted to go to flight school, and I, I did it. Uh, since 2008, um, when I got hired as a co-pilot, I, I started flying around the world right away, and I got upgraded to a captain in 2012. And I flew around the world eight times so far since I've been with Linden. Yeah, there was some time, uh, some time off uh, while we're on the ground, and the crew, we go out and do things and see places and. You know, like in Japan, we went to the, uh, the ta Tokyo Tower, uh, and um, I was in um, Amman, Jordan. I went to see uh, Petra. Petra is uh, in the Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. It was the opportunity to fly that kept me straight. No, it wasn't easy. There's a lot of peer pressure, yeah. but um, I wanted to pursue my flying career. I mean, it's not worth drinking to um, get a buzz or a high. It, it doesn't do anything for, your, uh, for the goals in your life that you want to try to do. It's an impediment. It's a hurdle you can't overcome. And since I quit drinking, uh, I didn't have to go to jail or I don't have to deal with uh, getting into trouble. And most of all, it's uh, helped my career to succeed in doing what I'm doing. You know, seeing the world, flying all over the world, and uh, maybe somebody could uh, hear what I'm saying and uh, take uh, an element of inspiration and look deep inside yourself and decide that you can do something. And I'm proof that you can do something like, like this. Right here from Imani? Yeah, I'm from, this is where I grew up. Yeah, that's amazing. This is, um, that's Max over there laying around. We had dogs growing up here. My grandma used to live there and uh, our shop is on the other side of the house where I worked on motors and snow machines. And my world was here and I couldn't see be, uh, anything beyond the horizon. But now when, when I'm around the world, I'm homesick and I want to come home. <laughs> So the, the world is very cool and um, the oceans are big. They take a long time to fly across.